Hello everyone, if you're not following the channel yet, don't forget to do it, you just need to click here. In this video, I'll tell you how to easily kill the fifth boss of Rogue Legacy 2, Estuary Irad. So this boss got two issues. The first one is that he's very strong, he got a lot of damage and projectiles in the wall map. The other issue is that he's at the top of the solar tower. So the idea is to unlock the weapon for this run just before the boss. So you'll go at the top of the solar tower and if you die you can then just try again. You won't need to do again the preparation to attack this boss. If you want to try this boss you should be at least level 150. If it's not the case you can still do some gold runs before trying this technique. So the idea is once that you have unlocked the weapon you go back to Stygian's study. We want to go to the Stygian study because you'll have a fruit and a relic in order to boost your character. Of course we'll get the fruit to increase your max health points and we'll keep searching for a second fruit and a second relic. Once it's done you can either go to the boss or if you prefer you can go back to the act one in order to find another fruit and get some heals if you are not at your maximum of HP. We'll need the poison spell because it's very efficient against this boss so make sure to have it selected via the scars system. For the boss fight itself it's very easy to do and we'll use our poison spell because you can land a poison spell on the left eye and on the right eye so you'll have a lot of dps on this boss and you can focus on this damage over time if also you have some relic with damage over time don't forget to apply them to uh, the eyes so it's still very easy, you can dodge what you can, of course you'll get it a lot of times, that's why we want some max HP with the fruits, but otherwise you'll kill him very fast. You can at midlife use your poison spell in order to put it on the third eye, it's not mandatory, uh, I was personally focused on dodging and using uh, my spell on the both eyes, but if you want you can do of course this uh, middle eye in order to have again more damage, otherwise you see that with max HP and this spell it will be very easy to kill him. Once it's done, just go back to the lake and you can speak to the NPC in order to get the sun lantern. It will be much more easy to see in the lake even if it's still a bit dark but at least it will be much more convenient than before. Thanks for watching this video, don't forget that you find everything about Rogue Legacy 2 and the other games that we are covering on dmgaming.eu. Bye bye!